We are going to learn how to use Translate. Translate can be used to move sketches, faces, or body in a relation to a specific point. On the design area, I have created three bodies, and two sketches, green body, blue body, red body, triangle sketch, and circle sketch. First I would like to move the blue body into a rectangle slot of the green body. Click to select blue body. Click more. Click translate. Click to select the face of the blue body. Click and drag the point to define the start point. If you tick copy, it will keep the original after translation. Click the specific face of the green body. Click the point and drag to define the end point. Click done. Now the blue body is placed into the green body. And then I will move the red bullet into the hold of the green body. Click to select the red body. It is a bullet. Click more. Click translate. Click to select the bottom face of the bullet. Click and drag the point, to set up the specific point. Click the face of the end point and drag the point to define the end point. Click done. For the circle sketch, I am going to place it above the top face of the blue body. Click to select the circle on the item manager. Click more. Click translate. Click and drag to define the specific start point on the circle. Click the top face of the blue body, and click the point drag to define the end point. Click done. For the last sketch, I am going to move it to the top face of the red body. Click to select the sketch in the item manager. Click more. Click translate. Click the face of the sketch, and drag the point to the start point. Move the mouse and click the top face, of the red body. Click and drag the point and define the specific end point. Click done. Now the sketch has replaced the two of the red body.